I will show you how you can run a local large language model in your app using the new foundation models framework that's introduced in iOS 26 and Xcode 26. So let's get right started. First thing, of course, is that you need to import foundation models. And now the interesting part here is how can you actually run this app and how can you actually test this app? Well, it will not work if you're still on uh, Mac OS Sequoia. So if you haven't updated to Tahoe yet, then you will not be able to use it in the preview and you will also not be able to use it in the simulator. And instead you will have to install iOS 26 on your iPhone or iPad and uh, yeah, run your project that way. So that's very important. You need to have either Mac OS 26 or iOS 26 in order to actually try out this new framework. The good thing is that the setup is actually incredibly easy. So let's dive right into that. So I've already prepared a sample project here and you can ignore this home view up here. It's meant for something else. First thing, of course, is importing foundation models. I have prepared here a little text field where the user can enter a question. And then I've also prepared a button here that uh, we can press to receive an answer for that question. My simulator is a bit slow here. And then in the end, we will have a result field here showing the response of the large language model. So it's actually just two lines of code plus the import statement. So let's get started by creating a session and the session is actually a language model session and you can set up some things here. You can also give a system prompt in here, but you can have a look at the documentation that I've linked in the video description right next to the subscribe button. And you can find out more about that there for the most basic sample. We don't need anything like that. Instead, we will create a task and a do catch block and we will just print out any errors that we receive. Of course, in your app, you should have proper error handling here and have some sort of user feedback. With the, with the foundation models framework, you can also check if this is actually available on user devices, which you should always do first. Once again, you can have a look at that in the um, documentation link below. So first line is creating our language model session. The second line is saying, let response equals try await session dot. And then we can see that there are a bunch of ways to interact with this. So we can either stream the response as an async stream. So that way we get the chunks of the response and we can update our UI uh, much faster like that, the same way that ChatGPT does it. Or we can just use the respond to method here. This of course uh, waits until the response is finished or completed and then you get the entire response back. The use cases uh, demands are different, so um, you, you can choose whichever way you prefer to have either the async stream or just the full response in the end. And here as the prompt, we will just pass in the question. Are you thinking about using this new API in your own app? I suggest to write it down in the backlog or as a new app idea in LaunchBuddy. And I actually have great news because you can get LaunchBuddy Pro for 60% off using this link until this Sunday, June 15th. Now back to the content. So what type does this actually give us back? So let's option click on response. And this is a language model session dot response of type string. So now we can just say our reply, which is our state variable up here that we are showing in this little box below. The reply should be our response dot content. That way we can grab the string out of the reply. Now I'll quickly open up my um, console here and then we can go right into the preview and I can ask it a question like, how old is the company Apple? And I'm using a German keyboard, so it's always a bit hard for me to find the question mark. And then I'm going to say, ask a question and this will take a second. And then we can see the question appeared here. Now this will not work if you're not running Mac OS Tahoe. So you will need to update your Mac if you want to try out this in the simulator or in the live preview. The other option, as I mentioned in the beginning, is to just install iOS 26 beta on your iPhone or any other mobile device and then you can try it on device like that. 